Hello, everybody, and welcome to week 21. You know what? What? Hello, America. <laughs> Hello, but America. before we get to that, episode 21, the longest running show, consecutive show. Yep, in Walnut Ridge history. Look at that. We're, we're, we're minor league famous. <laughs> Tony's been waiting for this day. And he Nervous. is super excited. I am super excited. <laughs> the weather's great. Yes. People are out camping. Yep. I'm camping, like, constantly. With your flamingos. You betcha. Fernando the fl flamingo. He ha Ooh, Fernando. Fernando. <laughs> so, this week uh, we're going to... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> We're going to kick off with our What's the Buzz segment. We got some cool stuff right off the bat. Yeah, so camping season is off to full swing. So we had some people share some wonderful camping pictures with us. That, I don't know. Well, we do know what it is because, because Charity told us. But, man, tell me that that doesn't look fantastic Yeah. You know, right about now. Meat and potatoes and yep. chicken feet. You can't go wrong. I mean, those are those are two good dishes right yep. there. It's a winter chicken dinner. <laughs> See what he did there, guys? See what he did there? <laughs> and then we got, uh, uh, you know, all these people sending in, you know, great camping pictures. We got a, a great picture uh, from their first trip of the year from the KOA in Brookville. Brookville, Ohio. Yep. We are not affiliated with them, but I, I've had a lot of people, I grew up in Richmond, mm -hmm. and Brookville's not, it's not you too know, far. it's not too far, and, and I know, I know a lot of people that have camped over there. They, yeah. They talk about it being a really great place, so. Brookville's a cute little area. Yeah. That was from Belinda Burden. Next one from Michelle. Michelle, I'm just going to, Michelle W., I do not want to butcher the last name. Winecki? Winecki. Winecki? You can, we might be right. We might be, we probably, were we close? Yeah, Michelle, leave us a, a comment and let us know if we're, if we're close. close. Winecki? <laughs> Winick, Winick, Winicky? So their first camping trip in their new hideout, which they've got quite the setup there. I like their, their mat matches the camper, the truck matches the camper. What kind of truck is that, Mallory? That looks like a Ford, oh, Dan. Oh, huh. Okay, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, we want to run another contest, right? Absolutely. Who doesn't love a contest? Yeah. So, Except for the ones on social media that... They show the pictures of all the stuff, and unfortunately, the winner was under 17 or from outside the country. Oh, like or the free RVs and the boat, yeah, yeah. the cars. And yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah we're not giving away that. We're gonna. It's a $50 gift card to our parts store. Yes. So share with us your best photo from camping. It can be an old photo, a new photo, just whatever you think your best photo is, and tag us at at Walnut Ridge RV, and we'll announce the winner next week. You know, you said an old photo. So, how about, I know I grew up camping. We grew up at Camp Modoc when I, when I was growing up. We had a, a string of campers, people that we knew, family members and so on, and all, all permanently parked. Uh, at Camp Modoc in a little area called Memory Lane. Mm -hmm. I learned how to ride my bicycle at Camp Modoc, and that's what we did every weekend. Right. So, out of all the people that, that we deal with, we hear people say, well, I grew up camping. Mm -hmm. Let's see some of those cool pictures when... So, if you camp now, Let's ask for this for some pictures. If you are a person who camps now, but grew up camping, let's see a then and now. Oh, that'd be cool. I like it. You know, a cool picture when you were when you were a kid camping right. with your parents and your family. Right. No matter what the whether it was a 
bed in the back of a pickup truck or right. a tent, and now you're camping in a camper. Let's see some side by sides. I think that would be super cool. Yeah. Tony got nostalgic with that one. I know my sister. I think sent a picture in of me at the campground when I was little. Yeah. Um, to Dan here a while back. So, so it just you know super cool. Yeah, I, I love it. Be cool. Hey, we still have to talk about our last contest. Yes. So. So don't stay tuned. Stay tuned because we'll announce that winner later. You betcha. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we stumbled across this really cool, I, this is not an idea, it actually exists, a site called Harvest Host. I'm extremely interested. We're not affiliated with them. This is just something we ran across, thought was fun, wanted to share. But it's a membership-driven community that allows you to camp over 1,052 wineries, breweries, and farms. So how cool does that sound? That sounds super cool. I mean, you had me at wineries. I didn't even need to read breweries and farms, but... That sounds like a hangover waiting to happen. <laughs> well, if you look at the next page, like, they got some... It looks like they have some decent coverage here in our area, yeah. too. Yeah, so if you look at the map that's up there, you'll see... I mean, really throughout the Midwest, there's a ton. There's a ton throughout the Midwest. Yes. So, it looks cool. Check it out. Check it out. I might check it out. That might be a good vacation idea. Can't go wrong, right? Yeah. Wineries, breweries, vacation. You know, we're seeing more and more um, of the trend of people remodeling their campers. Mm -hmm. And some people are doing a full remodel, you know, a complete gut and rebuild. And other people, it's just, you know, slap a little paint here and mm -hmm. change the door handles and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, we love to see those changes, those things that people do mm -hmm. to make their camper their own. I know I've got some good friends that have been really working hard um, to make their their motorhome exactly functional for their family. Right. And then it's some other friends that are, are doing the same thing uh, for their daughter that has special needs and... So they've made some adjustments to their camper to make sure that everything works exactly the way, right. it, the way it's supposed to be. So whether it's out of decoration, design, or necessity, you know, let us see some of those kind of things, guys. We love, yeah. we love seeing that stuff. It's neat because I think especially, too, you see a lot of people, new people coming into buying campers. And they're probably, we've got a, a lot that are buying some pre-owned ones. So what does that look like when they get a hold of those pre-owned ones and right. kind of redo them a little bit? Right. Absolutely. And of course, you ask for it. <laughs> the only not apparently not so good segment of Camping Corner was Gadget Corner. So yep, so we're moving on with Caption This. So we're going to jump right into this bad boy. Here we I, go. I thought, I thought this was, is what the blank. What the what? The blank. What the what? Uh, what the what? I'm sorry, what the guys. What? Ignore everything <laughs> I just said. What the what? <laughs> <sighs> and this first one, I, I see nine million things wrong from the very second I see the picture. Okay, well, name a couple. Well, number one... That is what started out as what they call a duck boat. Yeah. And they are notoriously sinking across the world and destroying people's vacation because they they sink. Or they flip over. Or we everybody's seen it on the news. And now you're going to build one 27 <laughs> feet tall? That didn't. There was no thought process into that one. <sighs> I've been on a duck boat. And you survived. I survived. survived. You're a, you are a statistic. <laughs> you know, the next one. You start. Let, you talk about you talk about this one. I think there's out of all the what the blank pictures we've seen, this is probably one of the better looking ones. It the paint looks good. It matches the truck. So, 
cool as the other side of the pillow. This this whole yeah. thing is cool as the other side of the pillow. You've got a, I'm guessing, 68 or 69 pickup truck. It's a nice looking doesn't truck. Doesn't matter what brand it is. <laughs> um, but, but it is a Ford. That is most certainly a truck camper from basically the same era. There is... You know the the classic car in front mm -hmm. of it. If you look over, there's the the old Airstream so back there Airstream in, in, in the, the corner. I personally, I think this is just cool as the other side of the pillow, man. I would, I would, I would. I want to know what the inside looks like. Like genuinely yeah. want to know because it could yeah. be pretty cool. And you know, aside from the truck in the back right corner. That photo could almost look like it come from the sixties or seventies. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, with the airstream and everything, mm -hmm. like yep. I almost thought it was an old photo until I saw you see that the gray truck yeah, the trees. newer gray Ford in the background. That's two <laughs> Fords in one photo at one campground. Huh. But uh, oh, but that that is that is just that's a super cool picture, and I, I would love to know more. Like like Mallory just said, what the inside looks like. I would love to know more about that. I don't know anybody that wouldn't want to camp in that. Yeah, it seems pretty cool to me. I would do it. Yeah, that's super cool. So and this behemoth yeah. monstrosity. <laughs> this two point five million dollar RV, which we were informed belongs to Will Smith, correct? Yes. And it, it, I I think. This was part of when he was filming I Am Legend, and he apparently might have had some demands into, I'm not just staying in a hotel, oh. somebody, somebody, you know, I have to have something a little nicer, but. Well, it's a lot nicer. I'd stay in it. <laughs> That's a lot of glass. Right? That's Scenic views. A lot of cleaning. It is. Well, I mean, he's not really? going to clean it. But really? Really? You think for someone, it. it's a lot oh, of cleaning. <laughs> Let's say for two point yeah. five million dollars, they're hiring somebody to yeah. clean that thing. Yeah. <laughs> there, oh. There's a what the what? A what the what? What the what? So we also learned with this one that this is an actually, like, an actual manufactured vehicle in Europe, right? Mm-hmm. See, I do listen. I have my moments. <laughs> so, but it's still, it's still weird. It, it's a, it's odd. I think the inside could look really, really odd. I would be curious what the inside looks like for functionality. Well, you know what? You, you know, the inside's going to look weird. The whole outside looks weird. Right, and with that curve. <laughs> it's okay. like they took a, they took a. A five door or a four door hatchback, if you will, of, you know of what? what they call a five door, and went <laughs> perfect. No, you know what it looks like? A handheld vacuum cleaner. Like that's the shape that this you know, is taken it, it on. Kinda, it kind of does have that. Yeah. Vacuum yeah. That's kind of it. That's just the first thing that popped in my head. Yep. I can see that. A roller skate with a toe stop on it. <laughs> Another good one. It's sad. Each week we make fun of people's RVs that they're I, so proud of. They could oh, be I love sitting, yeah. I mean, they might be watching it like, oh, I can't believe those jerks. <laughs> okay, so we went polar opposite here from the last one. I mean, monster truck to monster RV. How do you? How are you going to get in it? I don't see a ladder. I don't. I oh, I didn't even notice the swing. The, the swing at the bottom. They have a swing? Yeah, look by the tires between the fifth wheel tires and the truck. There's like one of those porch swings. Oh, there is. <laughs> there is a porch swing. The uh, uh, yeah, I didn't even see that. <laughs> but notice back here at the back, they left the crank down stabilizer jack on. I don't think it's gonna <laughs> touch the ground. I think it's just just a, just a little bit short there. I mean, you can't unhook at a campground. There's no, no jack that's ever going to reach that far. No, I mean you're you're attached to that truck. You're not. 
And, you know, last week we, we showed the picture on what the what, and I yeah. was talking about that's the, the camper when it pulls in that everybody's standing there staring, going, not next to me, not next to me. Well, because... This is the one that everybody's standing there going, I sure hope they park right next to me. This is going to be a train wreck all weekend. Because think about it. After, let, okay, let's be real, guys. After a few drinks at the campground, you, when you get in there, good luck getting in there after a few drinks to start with. But you can't come out. You're going to face plant right that, on. That first step's a doozy. Right? I'm going to the bathhouse. I just love the swing now that I noticed it. I know. Now that I see the swing, <laughs> that's... Those extra homey touches. Oh, my goodness. What in the heck? Oh, so now we're, we're on to our new caption, this. Yeah, so... No. No, because this is the last... Oh, this is the last picture of what? Yeah, the... last picture, sorry. He confused us. Us, too. I just messed that up. Dust. Dust. <laughs> it's not an English major, guys. That's right. You can talk about this one if you want to. If you want to. <laughs> this looks like a rocket ship on the back of a car or a back of a truck. There's a. In the front of that, I'm guessing that that box in front is a weight box to counterbalance the. <laughs> So the monstrosity. <laughs> Shimmy around there. I, I can picture this. Hi, I'm Steve from some brand new RV manufacturer, and we brought a truck camper for you and your dealership to look at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was about to say, where's the door? But it must be like where this little back. It's deck up thing underneath is. the covered yeah. porch. That thing got yeah. a covered porch. <laughs> Like there's a little deck back here, a little party deck. Thank God they put it on a Ford truck too. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's, it's not the a only Ford. thing that can handle it, Tony. <laughs> well, nobody would take a, a the heartbeat of America and put that monstrosity on top of it. Nobody, because it couldn't go down the road. Oh no, it would most certainly go down the road. But who who that owns the heartbeat of America, the the bow tie? would want to do that. Move on. <laughs> this argument's going to go on for weeks. I can feel it. Probably. <laughs> uh, no, I just... We had the handheld vacuum, and now we have a rocket ship on the back of a vehicle. Maybe this is Elon Musk's camper. <laughs> I'm glad that it has that tiny little slide, too. <laughs> I need that extra space. Need that extra space. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, last week, we had our first contest for Caption This. We did, yes. And it was the whole front of this, <laughs> or the lack of front of this, and we had tons and tons of responses. We did. Um, tons, you guys. It was, it was tough. It, it was, it was super tough. There were so many so good ones. There were tons of good ones. We had uh, uh, some great, you know, responses. That's when Bob realized the extra heavy duty truck was a little too powerful for his ultralight camper. <laughs> and um, that was from uh, David Kripe. We had uh, Tammy Melson uh, said, it's air conditioned. Air conditioned. You know, lots of really, uh, Patrick Hay, uh, Hayes with uh, Bigfoot was really hungry. Yeah. Uh, oh, where's the where's the, the one that the lady sp spilled Gesundheit? That's oh, on the... Jennifer Inslee Hedden Gesundheit. I didn't spell check to see if that's right. I'm just going to guess. Uh, yeah, that... I'm going to say you got closer than, than anybody yeah. else could. Yeah. Because like, like most people, I would have started to type that and then... <laughs> hit delete and went, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I liked Amy Simon with, I think this will buff out. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, but we kind of narrow, we narrowed it down to three. We did. And Mallory and I are going to make Dan pick because yep. we don't want to be the bad people. Oh, great. Thanks. We do not want to be the bad people. So, our honorable mentions... 
are not, not our honorable mentions. We have narrowed it down to the final three. And they are Michelle Kincaid, who said, well, that didn't work out. What was plan B? Mm -hmm. Matthias Ritter, honey, if you think that is bad, you should see the truck. <laughs> And then Mike Fields, I wasn't going to write it all down. I have to look it up. Mike Fields said, use camper for sale. One owner could use a good cleaning, slight water damage in the front. Easy fix. Just don't have the time. My loss is your gain. Won't last long. We've all seen those for sale ads yep. for stuff. Not just campers, but all kinds of stuff. So, Well, that's actually going to be easy. And this was not planned. I cannot stress this enough. I'm going to pick the third one. Who was that again? The one you just read off your phone. That was Mike Fields. Yeah. Mike Fields is the winner, and this is why. Okay? So, Mike wins. Mike, I'll reach out to you on Facebook. Congratulations. Woohoo! But what I want you guys to do is grab the piece of paper that is on the table in between you and read what it says. Oh, What's it say? Something new. You guys don't know about it. Here it goes. Who can sell it better? So I, this is going to be a competition with me and you, I'm guessing. It is. It is. So I'm going to write down right now a number between 1 and 10. Okay? Okay. Whoever gets closest, numbers written down, pins up, whoever gets closest gets to either pick to go first or to pass over to the other person, okay? Okay. Mallory will give you the honors of starting the number between 1 and 10. 7. 5. My number was 7. So Mallory, you get to pick whether you go first or you go second. I'm going to go second. Okay, now, Tony, right next to you, there are two people, don't look yet, there are two pieces of paper. It's labeled number 1 and number 2. Since you get stuck going first, you get to pick whether you're doing number one or number two. And Mallory will have to do the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so it really didn't benefit me that much. <laughs> oh, let's see. You can't look first. What are you doing? I'm, they're on top of each other. I can't get one without <laughs> moving okay, the other. Okay, okay. Bam. What one did you pick? Oh, number one. Pick number one. Yep, number I one. got it on the screen. <laughs> So how are you selling this bad boy, Tony? Um, <laughs> uh, well, first off, it's a handyman special. Needs a little work, a little fixer-upper. Could use a door and a grill, <laughs> but it does. It, it is a Tioga. It's one of the world's most famous Class C motorhomes. The wooden blocks underneath it um, and the concrete blocks in the back. Um, I guess probably the most important thing is the fact that um, it looks like the windows are all intact. So make an offer. Dude, this, is, dude, this, was, this was kind of a train. That, that was hard. Well, yeah. I'm not giving you easy ones. Because I, I can't see if the air conditioner is still there. Um, well, if you leave the door off, you've got air conditioning. Get a nice pass-through breeze. Yeah. It's got a mud flap on the back in case you put wheels and tires on it. You know, you might be oh able to gosh. do something. Yeah, you can't see what it is. So, so yeah, you're in for it. Okay, uh, so Mallory, yeah. you get, which one did you choose? He to? chose one. I okay, chose, so chose. you get number two down number there. Two. Whoa, short arms, guys. All right. <laughs> Tony, feel free to pick up number two and look at what she has to sell if you like. Oh, dude, I should have taken number two. <laughs> so this thing, is, this thing is vintage. That's nice. You're not going to find a, a classic vintage camper quite like this. You know, just a little bit of reupholstery maybe, just cleaning up the interior. You got yourself a nice little vintage camper. You know? I don't know if it runs. 
but it looks nice. Got a nice little old clock in there. Look at that nice leather steering wheel. These colors. Hey, it will eventually come back into style. It, you, it might. I mean, overall, I mean, look at the upholstery. There's no, st I don't see stains. It's pretty clean. Yeah. If we're going to do this fair, I get one picture <laughs> of some and I got trash heap. <laughs> It's going to be the luck of the draw. We're okay. going to add this in every week. Okay. One of the two is going to be rougher than the other. Okay. See, and all my, the tires are there. Do, well, I got to look. Do you even know what this is? I do not. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tony had a little bit rougher than you did. <laughs> a little bit. Mine's all the way there. I don't know where half your camper yeah. is. <laughs> so here's the, here's, so here's. <laughs> um, you're still, you know, fairly new to the RV industry. I am, yes. So here's the sad thing about what you got to sell. This would, the, what you have right here, at just these six pictures, yeah. would sell this motorhome. Yeah. Because this is a 1976 I it's GMC. Be in the 70s, yeah. It's a 1976 GMC. It's air ride, it's front wheel drive, it's on an Oldsmobile Toronado uh, drivetrain. There are huge clubs across the country. This is, you know what an Airstream travel trailer is? Yeah. This is, there are clubs and these are sought after like, like old Airstreams just on the motorhome. And if you own this and you put it on the web, this is probably, if it runs, in the condition that it's in now, it's probably a fifteen thousand dollar motorhome. Well, yeah, because if you as look, like genuinely, I was genuinely. If you look at the couch, the chairs, like what you can see, the upholstery looks really good. Even the carpet in it doesn't look that bad. Like oh, yeah. a good cleaning, and you could probably do really well with it. I mean, oh, yeah. me and Tony can be can be honest. We get some handyman specials yeah. in here. I would, I would. This own is that. actually really nice. Those are, yeah, they are, they are super cool. They, they really are super cool. And people will drive from all over the country. Yeah. Somebody that watches an episode, if you have one of these, please send us some pictures. Yeah, because the interior does look really, it's really cool. You'd have a nice, cool vintage camper that you oh, really yeah. wouldn't have to do anything with. I wouldn't really remodel it. I'd keep it. Oh, yeah, you have to keep as it clean that. You have and to nice keep it that it is. Yeah. But yeah, Tony did get the short end of the stick on that one. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. People comment down below who sold it better, Mallory or Tony. Well, obviously Mallory. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever sold it better gets the start pick next week. Okay. Okay? I sure hope you pick the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you didn't do was like take a picture of a dumpster with like a twin bed mattress sticking out of it. There's your camper. Because <laughs> that was the thing. I didn't want to look at the picture while you were describing it. And I was like, what is he having to describe? And then once I looked at it, I was like, oh, the thing okay. genuinely does not have any tires. It's on blocks. It's missing the door. It's yeah. missing the engine, the half hood. the side of it's gone. <laughs> and the picture doesn't show the top, so I don't know if there's a roof there or not. I, I have to say know. that I am completely thrilled with the way that turned out. No, no, that was, that was <laughs> that great. Was fun. And yeah. I didn't plan that Tony got stuck with that one. <laughs> but I'm happy about it. I like it. So that wraps up episode 21, you guys. It's the longest running show in Walnut Ridge history. We're, Dan, we're going to need to contact uh, Guinness. <laughs> uh, Book of World Records, not Stout. Or, you know. Maybe both. I mean, maybe both. I mean, you know. <laughs> but, you know, episode 22, we're going to have to, we're going to have to see you know, how that falls in the longest running camping shows on the internet there we go you know that was super fun i really enjoyed this episode <laughs> so it was pretty funny so are we doing we got a new caption this right yes i posted it already um you guys kind of talked about it in last week's show so we do have the new caption this that's up um 
We'll do a giveaway for that, and we'll do an announcement on that next week, too. So we'll have the two contests running. We have the submit your best camping photo yep. or your then and now photo, yep. and we have the caption this contest. Yep. All right. <laughs> a do, lot to do you like to. Do you like how I changed the your whole oh, yeah. idea? Of oh, yeah, it's great. Love, love when you change the <laughs> yeah. flag. Yeah. Our executive producer says, hey, we're going to have a contest about sending in your best camping photo, and I just run, you know, run around the corner with it, and then and now. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of exciting stuff next week. Can't wait. Yep. So we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Bye.